Welcome to Zerian Dataflow Automation. In order to set up a new table within Zerian Customer Ports, you want to first choose a record set within your data flow. From there, you can go up to the Actions and you can choose that you want to do a Reports action. In this example, we're going to write to Zerian Report, which is going to pull up our Report Configuration screen. I'm just going to give it a name here. This can be whatever you wish. Then you're going to see a list of databases you have access to most likely only going to be one for your company. And what you can actually do here is you can create a new table based up off of some data. So I'm going to call this test table. And you're going to see it's going to pull the JSON directly from your record set. If you don't want to use this to create it, you can actually copy any JSON into here and then choose create table. First it's going to validate the JSON create the table as well as all the different columns and then give you a success message when you're done. You're also going to see down here it's populated this table name into here and we need to choose an action. So we have one of four different actions you can do. First you can add a single row. You can also update a row. You can update a row if it does not exist it would insert a new row or you can perform a delete. In this scenario we're just going to choose add a single row. And we're going to see it's mapped out all of our columns in here. All, this is going to be the columns from within the report side. And then this is all going to be the values that are populated into those specific columns. Um, the last thing you can do here is click add, automatically add new columns, meaning that when a form, uh, when the form is changed, meaning it adds a new field, it'll automatically add it to this list and map it out appropriately. So let's save this. And what I'm going to do quickly is push the data from this record set into the reports and then we'll hop over into the reporting environment. So I'm going to do a manual rerun here of all five of my records and then we're going to go over into the reporting environment and we're going to just refresh our table here and, uh, and take a quick look. So now that we're logged in we're going to look for our table which I did call test table 123 and I can open that up and you're going to see it populated all the rows inside of here. And then we're able to basically work with this table as we wish to build any custom reports, charts, or graphs, or dashboards that we would like to. This is how you create a uh, data flow action to Zerian custom reports. Thanks for watching.